Hi, this is Rob from the Bob Sphere, and I'm doing my first tag today. Yes, this is called the Summer School Tag, and I was tagged by Sean the Book Maniac. I'll link his channel in the box below. Okay, so the way these tags work is that there's a series of questions, and then you have to find a book that corresponds with them, for those who don't know. These are all school related, so let's start. Question one. Oh, I have to write them down on a piece of paper. Tell us about a book you were assigned to read in school. Okay, so this. Aldous Huxley, Brave New World. And this book changed my life completely. This book spoke to me when I, when I was a, what's the cat? When I was a disillusioned teenager. Finally, this was a book that kind of explained everything that was in my head. Now, I know there are flaws. I think I've said this before. It's a novel of ideas. It's, uh, it had, does have a weak plot. But those ideas are fantastic, especially the opening chapters. Wow. It's about this world. Uh, everything's synthetic. Um, things are fake. Children are conditioned. Again, like I said, you have to read that bit. That's, the, that's the worth the price of the book alone. And uh, there's this misfit who visits a Native American reservation and he brings a Native American back to this world and it causes chaos. It's, it's a fantastic book. Very eye-opening and yeah, some things are still relevant today. When I was reading it, there were the tests on Dolly the Sheep, so that made it, you know, more um, special. Anyway, it's a must read. That got me into literary fiction. Okay, math. Will I ever use this again? Ugh, I hated that subject. It was my worst subject. And even today I struggle with it. But, ironically, I really like books about mathematics. And I've got two. There were, actually, I had quite a few. But these are the ones I really liked. So here we go. This one is the Mathematician Shiva by Stuart... Roastizer, if I'm pronouncing it correctly. It's about a mathematician who dies, and other mathematicians gather for the Shiva, and they all, they either argue with each other, they theorize. It's, 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 very, it's a very funny book. It's a comedy novel. It's a comic novel. It's worth a read, and uh, yeah. Uh, what else can I say? Oh yes, there's one little bit. The, this mathematician, she solved the formula, and she has it hidden in her house. So there's a double reason why all the mathematicians are there. I mean, I come from a family of lecturers. And uh, there's a lot of the eccentricities of the lecturers in this book, you know, I've seen in real life. It's a good one. It's a good one. And you don't need to know mathematics to appreciate it. It's more about Jewish culture. The other maths book, which I think everyone should read, have to read this. No one talks about it. It's In Search of Klingzor by Jorge Volpi. Oh my god. This book is a masterpiece. It's a stunner. It's about a mathematician who finds out that there are connections with sons and Hitler. And it, you know, it's really credible. It's brilliant. It's clever and it's readable. And the translation is absolutely fantastic. Read this book. Okay, next up, science. What was the last science-related book you read? Okay, so that would have to be Reproduction by Ian Williams. This is a book uh, about a lot of things, but uh, let's talk about the science aspect. It does talk about um, X and Y cells, and uh, reproduction, but then there's one scene where this uh, this teenager starts wondering how if he made a baby or not, and he comes to the, these awful conclusions. So it's it's not scientifically accurate in places, but the book is like a um, it's like a cell itself. It repeats and repeats and repeats, and then gets cancer because it's repeating too fast, and then starts doubling. I again I I did a video on this. I'll link it below as well. Ian Williams, Reproduction. Next, Social Studies. 
share a book from your TBR that is translated or deals with the government. So I'll do both. Why not? So here we go. So for the translated book, got this. This is your ad could go here by Oksana Zabusko. I will be reading this very soon. I have my current book. It's a review copy and then this. So stay tuned. And about the government, Glenn James Brown, Ironopolis, which again, I'll be reading this really soon, maybe a couple of weeks. Uh, it's about a council estate. That's all I know. That's all I can say. Okay, next. Exploratories, which category of extra non-core classes did you take in high school? Okay, in Malta things are a little bit different. You do have extracurricular activities, but it's not how, you, how it's mentioned here. But we did have one option when I was, it was in grade 11, which means I was 15 at the time, 16. So you could either choose art or phys ed. And I chose art, so here's an art book, The Blazing World, by Siri Hustavit. And yeah, it's really good. It's about a female artist who disguises herself as a man and presents herself as a male. And she gets a lot of rec recognition. And I think it's based on a true story as well. The Blazing World. Okay, next up. Common Core. Okay. Uh, Okay, share a good pairing of a fiction with a non-fiction book. So, got Moby Dick. And Leviathan. Or The Whale. Moby Dick or The Whale. Leviathan is by Philip Hoare. Moby Dick is by Herman Melville. This one's about whales. Whales. Non-fiction style. Good, eh? That's on my TBR, though. It'll be a while, a whale, before I read it. Okay, research. What was the last topic that inspired you to seek out books so you can read up on it? Okay, so we're repeating. I got obsessed with whales after reading Moby Dick. So I bought Leviathan from the TBR, and I also got From the Mouth of the Whale, of the Whale by Sion. And I really like Sion's book, The Moonstone, so I'm very eager. But again, it, I think by October I'll be reading them. Now, what subject area would you teach if you were a teacher? Well, I actually do work in a school. I am a librarian, so and I teach information literacy skills. That's good enough for me. So, this is the closest book I could find. Ali Smith, Public Library. Share a photo from your school days. No, I'm too shy. I'm not going to do that. Tag fellow learners. Again, I'm too shy. I'm, I'm, I'll just say this tag is open for all. Okay, thank you very much. Have you read those books? If you want to do the tag, feel free, as I said. And hopefully see you next week.